Hi everybody, we're going to be talking about the 21 health benefits of coconut oil and you will be surprised at what coconut can do. There are countless benefits for coconut oil but we're just going to be counting 21. You want to be sure you're using extra virgin coconut oil and organic if you can get it if you want to get these benefits because that will work the best for your body. Right, the first one is losing weight and there has been many research done on this and has shown that it's mostly effective with men at losing weight especially the belly fat the visceral fat but it also works with women what happens is it increases your metabolism so that you burn off your calories more quickly you just want to add a couple spoons to your diet each day and you should see some results within four to six weeks Coconut oil is also an excellent antifungal and antimicrobial. It's really excellent for getting rid of warts, moles, and skin tags. You can watch my video here. I'll leave a link in the description box on how to get rid of warts and moles and skin tags using coconut oil. It's very interesting and very effective. It is really excellent for your oral health. What happens is the coconut oil is really good at killing the bacteria in your mouth, especially the bacteria that cause the tooth decay and gum disease, and of course plaque. And these are the main things that we brush our teeth for. It's fantastic as a mouthwash. It has almost the same antiseptic properties as if you're using the commercial made mouthwash. So you just take a spoon of it and swish it around your mouth for about a minute, and it has the same or even better properties than your mouthwash. You can even make a natural toothpaste with it, I've actually done that. I'll leave a link in the description box and start making your own toothpaste. It's excellent. Coconut oil is amazing for your skin. It's a super great moisturizer and this is because it can penetrate into your skin better than most other kind of oils and it has lots of antioxidants in it. It's also a natural sunblock although it's not a very strong natural sunblock but it has an SPF of about 12. So if you don't have anything, you can try coconut oil, at least a little bit protection. It's really great for any kind of eczema on your skin. You can use it for children or adults. It's safe and very effective. Just rub some into the skin and do this for a couple of weeks and you'll see definitely great improvements. There have been a lot of studies showing over 47% improvement right away just by using the coconut oil on the skin. It also helps to boost the moisture content of your skin and helps you to prevent any kind of water loss. It's also really great at reducing any kind of inflammations on your skin. And it's also amazing for your hair. It is really great at protecting your hair. It keeps it from breaking and keeps you from having any kind of protein loss when you're washing your hair. So it's good to apply coconut oil before or after you wash it to keep it from breaking. You can use it to help heal wounds. You know, if you have little cuts, your kids get little scrapes. Just put a little bit on the band-aid or on the, around the wound and it will help it to heal up quicker because it's an anti-inflammatory. And it also helps the skin to produce collagen, which helps the wound, of course, heal quicker. I wanted to add this about coconut oil that it's really great for fleas. A lot of people look for ways to get rid of fleas and we have to go to chemicals. And this is actually a really great option because it's not harmful to your pet or you or your home. You can rub the coconut oil into their skin and the fleas hate it and it kills their eggs. So it's really great to get rid of fleas in your home or on your pets. Coconut oil is great to protect your liver. It helps to regenerate your liver and protects it from any free radical damage. It also helps to reduce any inflammation caused by the fatty liver disease. So if you're having any problems with your liver, I would definitely look into using coconut oil as a supplement to kind of help with that. And if you're interested in doing any kind of a liver cleanse, you can go and watch my how to cleanse your liver with turmeric. And I talk a bit about how to use coconut oil in there. Some other diseases it really helps with is Alzheimer's disease and epilepsy. Studies have shown that your brain makes its own supply of insulin to process the glucose to power your brain. But when your brain stops producing the amount of insulin that it needs to process the glucose, then you get these Alzheimer's symptoms. Coconut oil has ketones in it, which is a natural source of energy for your brain and it automatically gets absorbed. So it's a great alternative energy source that helps to power your brain and helps to repair any of your brain function. 
and prevents you from developing these Alzheimer's or epilepsy symptoms. Let's talk about your heart. Coconut oil is really great for your heart because it has natural saturated fats and it helps to increase the HDL, which is the good cholesterol, and lower your LDL, the bad cholesterol. It's also great for cancer prevention. How does it help fight with cancer? Well, it has ketones, as we talked about. Tumor cells are not able to access the energy in ketones. They're glucose dependent. So the more sugar you eat, of course, that's going to help you get cancer. <laughs> you want to starve those cells, and the best way of doing that is to go with ketones. And coconut oil produces its own natural ketones. And that's why a lot of people use the ketogenic diet to help cancer patients to recover. So if any of you are battling cancer, I will look into the ketogenic diet. It's definitely an option and natural, and it's very good for your body. So go ahead and check that out. Coconut oil is great for your immune system. It helps to fight bacteria and creates a hostile environment for viruses to grow. So definitely excellent for getting rid of any kind of sicknesses that you might have. And whenever you feel sick, you should not eat grains and sugar and use coconut oil as your source of energy instead because those things feed your bacteria and make you stay sicker longer. It's also excellent for your memory and brain function. It helps to refuel your brain cells very efficiently because it is easily absorbed into the brain. And this, of course, will improve your memory and brain function. It's really great for if you have any kind of stomach ulcers. It helps to improve your digestion and it improves your gut health by destroying the bacteria and candida and stuff that might be in there. All this together should help to eliminate or improve and prevent you from getting any kind of ulcers. It's really great for your bones because it has high levels of antioxidants and these help to fight the free radicals, which is one of the big biggest factors of developing osteoporosis. Coconut oil also increases your calcium absorption. Coconut oil can help with type 2 diabetes. The main reason for this is because when you get diabetes, it's because your cells are not accepting the insulin that's being produced from your pancreas. Your pancreas starts making more insulin. And this, of course, is counterproductive, and this is why you get diabetes. The coconut oil actually helps your pancreas because it helps to balance the insulin reactions in the cells. And when you have a consistency, then your body can use this ketones as a source of energy and won't rely so much on the glucose, which can prevent then insulin resistance. So it's excellent for your body. And this one I thought was a fun one. It helps you to build your muscles. So many of those uh, muscle milk drinks and things like that, they actually have an oil in it. You can put a few spoons in your shake when you're doing your workout. Um, it should help to increase your muscle mass. Coconut oil is a great way to get rid of candida or yeast infections. All you need to do is remove any kind of processed sugar or refined grains from your diet and start taking healthy fats, such as this coconut oil, three times a day. And it should eliminate your candida or yeast infections. This also works for dogs. Sometimes they get uh, yeast infections in their ears. And you can just put a few drops inside of their ear, massage and clean out their ear with the coconut oil and it should remove any kind of the uh, yeast infections. Coconut oil is great for anti-aging. You can use it in several ways. You can improve your diet with it and take it internally. And you can also apply it topically to your skin. As we talked so many things that it does for your skin. So it helps to also smooth out wrinkles and eliminate wrinkles by improving your diet and using this coconut oil. Lastly, coconut oil is fantastic for your hormone balance because it has a great source of natural saturated fats. And a lot of studies have been shown it's great if you're going through menopause to be taking coconut oil as it helps to balance everything and works with your estrogen levels to naturally balance out your hormones. It's good to include healthy fats in your diet like coconut oil, avocado oil, flax seeds, ghee. All of these are great for your diet and will help to get rid of those bad effects from the sugars and grains that you've been eating which caused all of these problems to start in the first place. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment down below what you have used coconut oil for and how it's worked for you. And make sure you go and check out those videos we talked about. I'll leave some links in the description box below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.